If you just follow all these tips and strategies, you'll be able to qualify on this one almost every single time. Trust me. What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks for you guys on the new map in Season 2 called Night Fever. Watch the whole video and follow all these strategies to qualify much easier on this map. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'm Jose, I make all kinds of Fall Guys videos, so if you're into that sort of thing, you should hit that subscribe button right now. Right now. Right now. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go, let's go. Okay, so for this first part here, I'm actually going to let this big group of people go in front of me because I don't want to deal with them bumping into me, getting knocked over. I just want to be in control of my own movements, so I'm going to let them go first. And then what I want to do is I'm going to wait for these axes right when they pass. That's when I'm going to make my move. So right when it passes, make my move. It passes, make my move. And it passes, make my move. So that's pretty much how you get through that first part. It's really not that bad. Um, just wait your turn, fall back a little bit, um, and obviously avoid those little holes in the ground. Um, I know it seems counterintuitive to wait, but trust me, you'll have plenty of time to qualify. Don't worry. All right, so again here, I'm just keeping my distance. I fell back a little bit so I didn't have to be near anybody. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be looking down to the left in the direction where these cones are coming from and make my moves based off of that. And I know this can be a little bit awkward at first, um, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be fine. A lot of people try to take that part really quickly, but you really don't need to go that fast. You can just kind of take it slow and it'll be a lot easier for you. All right, so this next part here, you honestly just kind of have to send it. Um, you'll see that I'm gonna do a jump dive, but you actually don't need to do that. I'd actually recommend just running normally and sliding down. Um, so you don't need to jump dive, make it through that part, no problem. All right, this next part here, this is probably where I see the most people get knocked off. What we're gonna do is pretty similar to what we did at the beginning with the axes. We're gonna move over to the side and then we're gonna wait right until Thick Bonkus passes. And then right when he does, that's when we're gonna make our move. And obviously watch out for these little holes in the ground. You don't wanna fall through and get knocked. And then right here on the second one, I actually timed it pretty well to where I could just keep running because he just passed. So I'm just running and then I dove uh, because I thought I might run out of time. So you can always do a little jump dive at the end if you think you're gonna get hit. All right, and then the final part, the draw bridges. Uh, this part really isn't that bad. All you need to do is wait until they're moving downward, and then as soon as you see them start to go down, you can start making your way across the ramp. Jump across the middle if you need to, and then you'll be all the way across, and then just walk on into the finish line. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me know if these tips helped. I hope they do. Be sure to like and subscribe as always, and we will see you guys next time for another Fall Guys video. Adios.